all right welcome back um uh, this is chad welcome back to the channel um today is going to be a quick tutorial on uh how to actually cache your your waypoint map <clears throat> uh, so the key is is to get this to do this before uh you actually um uh, connect to the the aircraft so right now uh, I actually I need to back out of this here right now I am connected to the controller which is connected to the aircraft and I'll show you an example mm -hmm. of what I'm talking about mm -hmm. alright so I'm gonna bring up the map the waypoint map mm -hmm. and you can see here uh, that you know there's uh, Actually, I've been here before, so this is, let's see here, let's bring this all the way out. Okay, so if I bring this out, I've already been in this area, so if I bring this all the way out, um, you can see the rest of the map is not coming in, except for that little small area that uh, I'm flying in. Um, this is because I'm not hooked up to any uh, cell phone signal or data signal um, to actually have this uh, Google Maps, Maps come in clearly. So uh, what we need to do before we uh, go to, before we start flying, we need to actually cache this map when we're on a data, uh, data system. So what I'm going to do is back out and disconnect from everything. Turn off the Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and we'll turn off the controller. Turn off the aircraft. And then I'm going to go back into the app. Mm -hmm. This is going to be done before I even hook up to anything. So I have a data signal. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a data signal now, mm. and I'm going to zoom out, keep zooming out, keep zooming out, keep zooming out, all the way out until the map fills in. As you can see, the map is filling in now because I do have a data connection here, and I'm able to get the Google Maps. Let's go back to where I am, actually, here we go. So what you do is zoom in and out to where you can see the street names, uh, see the terrain or whatever. All right. So when after you do that, it's cached. It, it is saved, pretty much saved to your your app. So when you back out, back out of the app, I'm going to turn the aircraft on. I'm going to turn the Turn the remote back on. All right, let's make sure I'm hooked up to the remote. Wi-Fi signal, whenever this remote signal comes in, we'll hook up to it. It's taking a little longer than I expected. There we go. Controller hooked up. All right. All right. So now let's go back into Seafly, and I'm using Seafly because, for some reason, the Enjoy uh, Enjoyfly app mm -hmm. doesn't allow me to go in if I'm not hooked up to the aircraft or the remote. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's go back into the maps. Mm -hmm. All right, and just zoom out just a little bit. Now you can see our aircraft. And I keep zooming out you'll see that the map is filling in because it's saved the cache is saved in in the app all right so now you can actually do your waypoints with a little bit more confidence you can see where your aircraft is if you have a little have it out so what i'm going to do is uh do a quick mm. compass calibration 
Mm -hmm. Alright, calibration's done. Real quick. Alright, we're just gonna do a quick mm -hmm. takeoff mm -hmm. and go around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh and show you exactly how this works. Let me zoom out a little bit. And actually, maybe I can put it on, mm. let's see if I can put it on satellite. Mm. If the satellite will come in. Yeah, satellite comes in a little bit. I should have cached it a little. Should have cached this, but I didn't. So, mm. it'd be better off if we just use mm. the regular view here. All right. So let's do a quick takeoff. All right, take it up. Now I'm just gonna bring it around a little bit. It tracks the aircraft pretty good. All right, so I'm going to put it in the middle of the field. All right, and then I'm going to uh, bring it up to us, get the height up a little bit, and then I'm going to do some waypoints. Just quick waypoint demonstration. So I'm zooming just a little bit more. So I can get a more accurate point, and, and so I won't actually spread the points out too much. Mm. So, uh, say I want to go here, first point, second point, third point. Let's see here. Can I get a third point? No? No, I guess not. Let's cancel this. Mm. Cancel. Mm. There you go. So let's do this again. Mm. First. No, I guess not. Mm. Cancel. Mm. Do this again. One. Two. Three. My touch screen is not working great right now for some reason. Uh, let's better yet. Let's do this. Right, here we go. I don't know why it's going way over there. Let me bring it up a little higher, just in case. So we'll hit the trees. All right. Let's hit start. Mm -hmm. And okay. And it's gonna go ahead to the first point. I don't know why it heads to the second point. All right. And it looks like, for some reason, it looks like it just skipped the first point. I'm not mm -hmm. sure why, but maybe that's a glitch or something. But that didn't work right. All right, let's try that. Mm. And mm. one more. I'm gonna try one more and that's it. So if you guys got any questions or anything about uh, caching your maps, uh, go ahead and comment below. I'll get back to you on it. Uh, get back, get an answer to you. If you have any questions, a lot of you probably already know this, but I did have a question. Uh, at one point or another about this and uh, I just thought I put a, a little quick video out of it so um, I appreciate you guys watching and um, don't forget to subscribe like and share this video uh, and I'll see you on the next one all right thank you bye